was really scary when Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin collapsed in the middle of an NFL game. Thankfully, doctors say he's doing well and hanging with his friends and teammates. But that hasn't stopped a lot of people from pushing theories about what caused this unexpected condition. On Instagram, one person wrote, Pfizer kills a black man on live television and then tells us that we're not supposed to talk about it. Whoa, this person is saying that the COVID vaccine was the cause for Hamlin's collapse? Time to find out, is this legit? Hi everyone, this is Sahil and welcome back to another episode of Is This Legit? A series brought to you by MediaWise and PBS Student Reporting Labs where we fact check viral misinformation online and teach you ways to do it on your own. First, let's investigate this Hamlin case together. And then second, talk about vaccine misinformation on social media more broadly. Three things to know about the Hamlin case. Just to be clear, he is alive, breathing, walking, and talking. He even attended a Bills game three weeks after his collapse, sitting in a box and waving to fans. Two, we still don't even know Hamlin's vaccine status. It's never been confirmed. And three, experts, remember the key word here, experts, think his collapse is most likely linked to a condition called commodio cordis. That's when a blow to the chest delivered at exactly the right place at exactly the right time can cause a dangerous heart arrhythmia or cardiac arrest. Unfortunately, COVID vaccine misinformation has become widespread. Tons of similar claims have been posted online saying that the vaccine causes athletes to drop dead on the field. One of the earliest claims was about soccer player Christian Eriksen, who collapsed on the field back in 2021. On social media, the post went viral, saying it was caused by the COVID vaccine. But that theory was quickly debunked since he wasn't even vaccinated. This situation sparked a lot of other similar social media chatter. Vaccine disinformation also spread about Gilbert Cuomo, a gold medalist runner, and Frank Barrier, a French soccer player. But all of those claims have been repeatedly investigated and repeatedly debunked. To date, I'm not aware of a single COVID vaccine related cardiac complication in professional sports. Matthew Martinez, a sports cardiologist who works with the National Football League, National Basketball Association, National Hockey League, and Major League Soccer told PolitiFact. So whenever you come across frightening theories like these, first, just pause. Certain posts on social media might stir up an emotional response, often because they're exaggerated or false. So do your best to assess the situation before reacting or reposting. Second, be sure to evaluate the scientific evidence around a topic, especially when you're looking into the vaccine. Ask yourself these three questions. Who is behind the information? What is the evidence? And what do other sources say? In just this past year, over 17,000 different COVID-related theories have spread online, many of which seem to quote scientific studies. So when should you question the expertise of experts? Take this Damar Hamlin post I mentioned earlier. When you see a jarring claim like this, ask yourself two questions. One, does the writer have relevant expertise? In this case, Toby Rogers describes himself as a revolutionary and political economist, neither of which has anything to do with healthcare. And two, what do the majority of scientists think about this claim? You can figure this out by doing what we call lateral reading. Do a keyword search, open many different tabs and read laterally, find reliable sources, and compare the scientific reasoning across them all. You'll quickly find articles like these all debunking this claim. One final point, use lateral reading to avoid being trapped in an echo chamber. This is when social media algorithms promote similar content, sometimes disinformation, over and over again in your feed. To figure out if you've been living in an echo chamber, ask yourself, are the things you're reading on your feed helping you better understand an issue, or are they just giving you a narrow perspective on an important topic? Are the posts you're reading just confirming pre-existing biases, or does the information give you different opinions and different points of view? And now for our rating, the COVID vaccine did not cause DeMar Hamlin's collapse. We rate this claim as not legit. More broadly, opinions on the negative effects of the COVID vaccine often need context. 
It's really important that you get out of your echo chamber and read from many different sources, from the left as well as from the right. And always make sure to evaluate how reliable your information is. Where does it come from? And is it based in scientific evidence? Thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Is This Legit? In the future, remember to pause if something you read makes you feel angry or shocked. Then evaluate the evidence behind the claim, judging for yourself if the information is valid or not. Stay media wise. Don't compromise, be media wise.